What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope you're having a very good day today. So today, it is time to react to the new Dokkan Fest LR uh, 40 kind of battle for, of course, your JP. So I've heard the animations are pretty hype here. I just got to the video because, unfortunately, I can no longer do this in the morning since I do have here a roommate. But um, this, I'm expecting really good stuff here from, from what I hear. Uh, and also the OSC, I'm praying that it's going to be fire like always. All right, so here we go. Enough talk, more action. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, we got Goku Black. I actually moved the mouse away here. Oh, I actually moved this here as well. Oof. All right, there we go. All right, so far, so good. I mean, it's kind of amp for Goku Black. I actually moved the mouse here. Oh, this OST, my boys. Okay. Oh, yo, the guitar is going crazy. Yo, oh, chill. Woo, okay. That has to be an intro. Okay. Oh, look at that card art. Are you kidding me? Holy. Okay. Woo, yo, this OST. Okay. Yo, this is straight up from the anime. Well, not from the anime, but it looks like I'm watching an anime. Okay. Oh. Yo, Trunks. Oh. Woo. G. Trunks. Okay. Yo, that was fire, my boys. What the heck? Yo, I gotta watch that one more time. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, Goku Black is like probably the worst one right now. Uh, this is just like a simple animation, but good to see that we have Goku Black back on the map here. All right, here comes the OST. Oh! Damn. Yo, this has to be the cleanest intro ever. Look at that beautiful aura. Alright. Hmm. Damn, they went in. Yo. What? All right. Ooh, this is a clean AT key super. I think, by the way, that's from the manga, right? All right, then it comes the active skill. Damn. Yo, that's so clean. Woo! Yo, that is so clean. Oh, and the and the end right here. Okay, okay, all right, all right. That was beautiful, my boys. That was well. Shout out to Dokkan. Patch for that. That has to be, I want to say the intro is probably one of the cleanest so far. I think that's one of my favorite intros. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the card details. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think. I actually like this right here. Let me know what you guys think. Oops. Let me know what you guys think about the animations. Um, and let me know as well uh, about the OST as well. So... Of course, we have here the homie Goresh with the beautiful translations. Let's actually go ahead and like both of these right here. Uh, we'll start off with Goku Black. So Goku is going to be 
AGL, so extreme AGL. Um, leader skill, let me make sure that this is not in the way. All right, perfect. So we have your leader skill. It's going to be future saga category, key plus three, HP attack and defense 130. Okay, pretty standard, pretty standard, 130 across the board. Um, super attack, memories of battle, raise attack and defense for one turn, and cause supreme damage and seal super attack. Um, quote, are you the one who summoned me? Uh, you said I want you to kill me, okay? Uh, passive judgment against morals, attack and defense plus 100%. Gain additional attack and defense plus 25%. Per attack received, max of 100%. So basically, needs to be attacked here four times, okay? Uh, attacks effective against all types, uh, starting from the turn where the fifth attack is received. Um, future, sorry, future psychic category allies, key plus three, attack and defense plus 40%. All right, so this is a pretty solid um, future support unit. He's definitely going to be a floater here. Uh, he does have big bad bosses, so... Um, as far as linking up with the other future category units, it might be a bit a bit wonky. Like for example, the androids. I think the androids are going to share his probably fierce battle and dismal future, um, and maybe nightmare as well. So um, I, again, this is a pretty good card. I have really have nothing negative to say about this. Um, again, because of this right here, he does get extra attack and defense. I would definitely say that this guy is definitely a floater. Um, as a support type unit here. So the categories, Future Saga, Realm of Gods, Portara, Time Travelers, Inhuman Deeds, Corroded Body of Mind, and Worldwide Chaos. Um, this can be definitely used for, for Corroded Body of Mind, also Worldwide Chaos. So I think this character is pretty solid, um, but I don't think he's on the level as Android 19 or Goldo or Hardwire's Goku. Uh, when it comes to very difficult short events here. Um, all right, so let's actually go ahead and take here at the new LR Vegeta slash Goku. I mean, sorry, Vegeta and also Trunks here. Um, so we actually have quite a lot. So we have here, am I actually, yeah, I'm actually kind of missing some of this right here. Okay, so we have here, the leader skill is Bond of Parent and Child or Future Saga categories key plus three. Uh, HP attack and defense 170 plus initial attack and defense and HP plus 30%. If you're a part of Battle of Fate. Ooh, that is actually pretty good. Um, I can see definitely Bond of Parent and Child. This is this can be really good. This is like almost like a dimmed down version of Join Forces. I was actually hoping that this would be Join Forces. Um, actually not this one here, Future Side. I wish this one here would be actually Join Forces. Um, because Join Forces still does not have a 170 lead, which is pretty crazy. But uh, this is a pretty good category. This could be pretty wild. Um, I definitely see here a lot of Goku cards. Um, I don't know if Goku from Planet Namek will actually be on this, but we have to wait and see here. But uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, so we have their 12 key super, Rage of the Warrior Race. Raise attack and defense for one turn and cause colossal damage. Um, quote, I'll defend this world, drop dead. Uh, 18 key super, Gamma Burst, Flash and Burning Attack. Uh, raise attack and defense and cause mega colossal damage. All right, so already by here, uh, these guys are definitely... This is the way LR Goku and Piccolo for the physical type should have been built. Is that on the 18 key super, they should have stacked attack and defense. Not a 12 key super because it actually makes them very wonky. Um, so already so far, these guys are really good. Uh, under 12 key super, they actually do raise attack and defense only for one turn. So um, you definitely want to go as much as 18 key super as much as possible. Um, I think so far, you want to go here more additional than anything. Just because this raising defense is actually pretty good here. Um, it's I feel like it's much more important down the stretch. So they do have an entry animation. Um, no conditions, so that's pretty good. Uh, passive here is going to be... Um, after place entrance animation during the first attacking turn. If there's another ally attacking in the same turn who is part of the bond of parent and child category. Uh, gain key plus two and defense plus 70%. And guard against all attacks for the first five turns. Oh my god, that is... See, yeah, already so far, this is like a better version of LR Goku and Piccolo. Um, because they also guard here for the first five turns, okay? Uh, key plus two, attack and defense plus 140, and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack. Okay, that's pretty good. So these guys can triple super... And defensively, this should be, like, beyond disgusting, right? Um, let's see here. Gain additional key plus one and defense plus 15% and a chance to perform a critical hit. 
uh, by 7% for every attack received, max of key plus 5, and defense plus 75%, and a chance to crit by 35%. So these guys also need 5 hits to be fully built up, which I mean, if you are going to put them in slot number 1, if you're doing like Super Battle Road, or even the Gone event, or any event actually at all, um, this is going to be pretty easy to build up here. So this is actually really good. Holy smokes. Um, gain additional attack and defense by 70% and guard against all attacks while in the first slot in a turn. Oh my god, these guys defensively are probably one of the best so far because again, they stack defense, they guard, and they also get extra attack and defense the more that they get hit. And then even after that 5 turn, they still guard after they super attack and still get extra defense. Alright, this actually might be might be definitely one of the best units in the game of Dokkan. I still think maybe Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the best one just because he has a counter and he has a nullification. But this right here is defensively is, is definitely really good here. Uh, they definitely also have here an active skill as well. Um, let me just make sure for the entry animation I didn't miss anything. Uh, no, these are just quotes. Okay, that's fine. So... Um, 40 conditions, able to use once 3 turns have elapsed, which is really good, okay. Uh, from the start of battle, and all other allies in the turn are in the future saga category. That's actually not that bad. That's actually really not that bad considering their leader skill. Um, I definitely feel like you're gonna have your, a lot of future category units, so this is actually a pretty good active skill. Um, or after 5 turns have elapsed when your HP is 50% or less. Um, again, I, I do like this kind of a mixture when it comes to the active skill, where there's actually two types of conditions. I think that actually works out really well, um, depending on the situation where you are doing events. So this is looking pretty solid, I would say. Um, the ability here, massively raise attack temporarily and cause ultimate damage. Perform critical hits during a turn when activated and raise all allies' defense by 20% for one turn. Alright. This right here might put this unit above Gogeta. Th this is pretty good. Raise allies even by 20% for one turn. That is definitely going to help out a lot of, I mean, free-to-play players. But I mean, like, any of your characters who are not strong, who are struggling defensively, this is really good. Um, Alright, I might say this might be the best unit. We had to see them in action, but I probably would say they're just behind Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think they're definitely better than the gods. Um, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with the counter and the nullification, I don't know. It's pretty close, right? I think also maybe uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has a better leader skill. So we have to wait and see for the bond of parent and child. But so far, uh, this is this is looking pretty fire. Uh, links here are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Um, okay, they are part of Vegeta's family. Thank God. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm suspect there's also going to be a super battle, extreme super battle, very soon. And for the Vegeta's family, these guys are for sure going to be a huge major key. Uh, if you're trying to do like a no item run here. Alright, so that's going to be it. Um, again, let me know what you guys think. I think uh, this LR is fantastic. I think the animations are incredible. The OST is just perfect. This is definitely an LR Tanabata. Definitely a Dokkan Fest work here, alright? So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed... Please make sure to hit the like button, sub for more videos, and comment down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!